This is the coolest and most amazing workday I've probably ever had. That I actually look forward to Mondays. Like I never would have thought I'd be saying that. my god that was a great workout this is just your friendly reminder that if you only have 20 or 30 minutes you can get an amazing workout in still that is more than enough time even if you only have five minutes oh my god i'm so out of breath we need to catch up but i'm running late i need to be out of the house by 10 it's like 9 25 right now and i still have to shower i have a really exciting and unusual work day plan today that i'm excited to take you along for so So I was planning to co-work today with my cousin's girlfriend. She texted me last night and she was like, hey, my friend works at this really nice spa nearby and tomorrow is her last day. She can get anyone in for $10, which the normal price is probably like 75 or hundred dollars just for a day pass into the spa. She's like, do you want to go? And we can do some work, sit outside, enjoy the warm weather, go do like a sauna and work out and go to a class. And I was like, yes, absolutely yes. So these are the kind of amazing things that I now have the opportunity to do because I am unemployed slash a content creator slash working for myself. I don't know. It's kind of confusing right now. If you don't already know, I left my corporate tech job about six months ago, a little over six months ago now to pursue YouTube full time. That is unorthodox. That is not the way most people do it. And I totally understand why, but I wanted to take a leap of faith, see if I can make this work. It's been really fun so far. Also very challenging. This is the kind of cool stuff that I am so grateful for that comes along with working for yourself, but the not so cool stuff. <laughs> and this is what I signed up for. I totally knew that this was how it was gonna be for some amount of time. So it's hard to call myself a full-time content creator because I'm not earning an income from this. I'm earning about like 30 or $40 a month from AdSense, which I'm super grateful for because it's not nothing. It's like weird to call myself a full-time content creator, although I technically am, that's what I do all the time. But I also kind of feel like I'm unemployed, but I'm also kind of self-employed. I'm trying to build a business. It's like a lot of different stuff going on. First stop, I'm just at my favorite local coffee shop. I'm gonna do a couple of hours of work. Can I do this one handed? No. Okay, just got done working at the coffee shop and I'm about to head to my cousin's girlfriend's house and then we are heading straight from there to the spa. I'm over the moon. <laughs> I can't believe that this is my life. Let me be clear, this is not usually my life. This is the coolest and most amazing work day I've probably ever had and I feel so lucky and grateful and excited. Coffee shop working sessions are my favorite. If I could go work at the coffee shop every day, I would, but that is just, it's a little bit expensive to buy a coffee every single day. And we have an amazing espresso maker at home that I need to be using. <laughs> I just love this coffee shop so much. That was a great working session. I'm gonna film as much as I can at the spa. I wanna respect people's privacy and I definitely don't want to like make anyone uncomfortable. So I'll get as many shots as I can and I will definitely debrief and tell you about it afterwards. I'm gonna head out, I will talk to you later. 
Oh my gosh hi it has been a very long but very very fun day we were there for like four hours we went into the sauna twice we went swimming we laid out and tanned it was beautiful weather it was like 60 degrees but the sun was like so warm it felt amazing it felt like a perfect summer day honestly I feel like calling today a work day is just not fair <laughs> because I really did not do very much work at all I'm sorry if the autofocus has been freaking out in this clip it is not happy with me today so I didn't get very much done today but I'm about to make my Ninja Creamy protein ice cream. <laughs> we even went out to get ice cream, but I was like, no, I can't. I need to have my Ninja Creamy at home because it's the only way I'm gonna hit my protein goals today, honestly. I'm gonna sit at my desk and I'm going to try to get as much done as possible before I go to bed tonight. Funny story, maybe this is interesting for like the content creator side of the vlog. So I actually sat down yesterday and I filmed an hour of footage, plug my SD card into my computer. And I realized that I had tried a new camera setting for this video, the entire video, the the camera was focusing on my elbow instead of my face. So it was just completely out of focus. The video looks terrible. The quality was terrible. The footage was useless. That was devastating. All I have to say, I have work to do. Let's go do it. <laughs> days later I'm here with an update I wanted to film a second part of this vlog to show you a much more realistic day in my life because last week when I went to the spa that was a very unusual working day so it felt like dishonest for me to post that like day in my life when that is literally never my actual day in the life this is the epitome of reality of doing content creation this is my fourth time filming this vlog clip. I started filming at 11.30 this morning. It's now 2.21 p.m. And that entire time I have been 
trying to get my camera settings right. Excuse me if I'm a little bit frustrated and annoyed right now because I've literally spent the last three hours trying to figure this out. And I'm thrilled that I have figured it out, but it was a journey. Really, this is my own fault because I am not super knowledgeable about camera settings. Like I know my way around the basics and I definitely know when something looks wrong or off, but I am not super advanced with that. So it took a lot of tinkering and watching YouTube videos and going on Reddit, reading the manual for my camera to figure out what was happening. But essentially my footage just was looking kind of like grainy and blurry and not like super clear and crisp like it normally does. And I'm like, I must have changed something. Anyway, I finally fixed it. I think this looks okay. So I apologize that the footage in the first half of this vlog probably wasn't the best. I'm gonna run you through what I've done so far today because most of the footage I've taken is unsalvageable because it was before I fixed my settings. This morning, I went out on a run with my boyfriend and his brother who was visiting us for the weekend. And then we went and played some pickleball. I came home and I did a little bit of a workout by myself, just a home workout. I've been loving home workouts lately. Funny enough, I used to be the number one hater of home workouts and now I'm a obsessed with them. I just did like a weights circuit and some body weight movements for about 30 minutes. I made a coffee. I had a leftover bagel. It was a sesame bagel with honey walnut cream cheese. It was delicious. And then I did my weekly planning, which I've been really loving lately. It's been so helpful for me to be able to create a schedule for the week, set a few goals for the week. So I know what's most important. And it's really helped to keep me focused. If you work for yourself, you might relate to this, but it's really easy to get off track doing things that are still useful, but not your number one priority. So having that priority I do it every Monday now. I look forward to it. Last night, I could barely fall asleep because I was so excited to do my weekly planning for this week and decide what videos I'm gonna do. That feels unbelievable to say. I feel so grateful that I am now doing something that I love so much for work that I actually look forward to Mondays. Like I never would have thought I'd be saying that. For the rest of the afternoon, I'm going to be prepping videos. I'll explain what that looks like a little bit for me, just in case anyone's curious. I know I would have been super curious back in the day before I was doing content creation. I don't script my videos full out. I like to create a general outline and then I'll just sit down and kind of speak from my own experience and explain things just from the noggin, you know, straight off the dome. I find that when I script too much, it starts to feel kind of robotic and unnatural. And I just like sitting down and chatting a little bit more. It's the kind of content I like to watch and I also like to make it. So I'm writing two scripts for the two videos I'm doing this week, which you will probably see very soon after this one. Since if you didn't see my 16 week year video, I just set a goal to post three long videos on YouTube every week for the next three months. I'm calling it three by three. So I'm really excited, a little bit nervous, but so those two videos should be out soon. I'm doing a calorie counting video talking about how I track and how I make it as painless as possible because it can be pretty annoying. And then I'm also doing a video on my morning routine because I've really switched things up lately and I, it's just been so transformative. So I'm really excited to share what that's been like. I'm gonna get some work done now that this whole camera settings debacle is over, hopefully. And that's what most of my day looks like, honestly. The average day includes maybe an hour or a couple of hours of filming, depending on what I'm filming. And the rest of it is laptop work. I need to take a walk or something because I am so like frustrated with this camera thing. I cannot believe it took three hours to figure out. Anyway, let's get some work done. As soon as I start recording, I always notice how disgusting my computer screen is with all of my grubby little fingerprints. Okay, that's better. It's been about an hour and a half since we last spoke. Since then, I have been doing a bunch of random stuff. So I did work on my outlines for my videos this week, and I got a few comments on my most recent video that my Notion template emails weren't working. So I spent like 30 minutes messing around in Wix trying to figure out what the problem was, and it was an automatic setting that was preventing people from getting multiple emails from me within a 24 hour period. Anyway, that's the kind of random stuff that I feel like pops up out of nowhere that I just have to deal with and figure out and fix. I'm starving. I'm gonna have some cereal and fruit because that just sounds good. Even though it is almost 4 p.m. and that's kind of a weird snack to have at this time. Let's make a snack. I'm gonna get back to working on my scripts now that I'm done being distracted by issues with my website and see if I can finish those out before I need to start prepping dinner.
So it's just past five o'clock and I've just been working on outlines for the videos I'm filming this week and some prep. I feel like the second half of this vlog has been pretty boring, but that's kind of what I was hoping for because I wanted it to be a much more realistic picture of what my day-to-day -day life is like. I really just want to lay on the couch and take a nap, but I'm going to force myself to start prepping dinner because I am starving, so. That's about it for today's vlog. I'm gonna wrap it up here. And if you have any questions or video requests or anything you wanna see, I wanna get into vlogging a little bit more, so leave them down below and let me know. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you'd like to see more from my channel, hit subscribe, and I will see you next time.